Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on DeepCode regarding duplicate emails using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. And do not worry if you do not have Lead Code Premium subscription because I'm going to share this Panda schema in the description box below as well. You can just copy it in something like Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, we have we are given a table called person with two different columns, ID and email, ID being the primary key column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table contains an email. The emails will not contain uppercase letters. Okay. Write a solution to report all the duplicate emails. Note that it's guaranteed that the email field is not null. Order of the result does not matter. So basically we need to, you know, from the input table, uh, we need to find out which all emails are duplicated, right? So just by looking at it clearly, a at the rate b.com is the email that has been duplicated, right? Okay, so there are again two ways to do this. The first one is like quite intuitive and easy to grasp. Let me try to do that first. And then there is another way of a method called duplicated, which we can try and learn how that works, right? Okay. Obviously the most intuitive way would be take this email column group by the email, right? And count the number of times they are occurring. And if they are occurring more than once, then obviously it is duplicated, right? So person, right? And then group by group by which column we are trying to group by email right and take the id column right take the id column and count right so you are going to count and if you are you know grouping by email so that it appears in the column as well we need to reset index right reset index and let's save this in a data frame called df okay let me return df right let me return df let's see what do we have right now okay let me run this okay so here we have okay how many times each of these emails are present in this table right so i so obviously this says id let me just you know go ahead and rename this so rename we need to rename columns we need to change from id to count right okay so uh, let me run again so that there is no confusion okay so now you have emails and the number of count okay so obviously if we do a boolean indexing saying that okay wherever your count is greater than one then you keep those rows and just return the email column so if i just do this df of count is greater than one right df of count is greater than one and you only return the email column right and let me run this now let's see what do we have Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to so it passes all the test cases. Okay, so this is accepted and uh, this is how we do it, right? But let's try a newer method, right? Something called duplicated and try to see how we can do that using this. Okay, so now looking at the second method using duplicated method of pandas data frame, right? So what do we need to do is let's create a third column here right which actually tells you whether this was a duplicate entry or not right so let's create a column called let's say <clears throat> is duplicate right so it's due and what do we need to do is we need to take the data frame and then do duplicated right and then which email we are trying to look for duplicates email column right so the syntax is you write that name of the column in subset right so email and then there are three ways to basically assign true or false values so you need to write keep is equal to you can write first last or false let me demonstrate you how that first last and false assign values let me go ahead and firstly do first right so and let me return this right so return this person okay let me run this let's let's see what this is actually doing so if you look at it right so it assigns false to this and true to this so wherever you, you write keep is equal to first so it will assign true values to all the duplicate entries except the first one so here there are two duplicate entries right so first one and second one for a at v.com so it assigns false to the first one and true to everything else 
if you do last in this case right if you do last in this case and run this it will be entirely reverse so now it will assign true to everything except the last one right so now this is assigned false and if you do false right if you do this false remember you don't need to write false in single quotes right okay run this so it will assign true to every duplicate right so it has true and true for everywhere where there is duplication right for this question you can do any of the three i usually prefer to do is e keep equal to false because you know it is easier to understand okay these are the duplicated values okay so once you have this then obviously you need to simply perform a boolean indexing and say okay wherever your person is duplicate right is duplicate is equal to equal to true right then you return that particular row let me run this let's see what do we have here okay so these are the two values where your is duplicate is true so now we are only interested in the email column so which email was uh, duplicated so we just keep the email column and if you can see right here there will be two entries out of it obviously we do not want repetition right so we can just go ahead and do drop duplicates in this case okay so drop duplicates let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here now okay so now this is accepted let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases or not okay so now this is accepted as well so yeah this is how we do it yes kind of an easy question there are two methods right first one is quite intuitive you just count the number of times the email is occurring and do boolean indexing based on that and then if you don't want to do that if you want to learn something new or try something new you can use the duplicated method right and directly do this so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if you can think of a better way or a more efficient way to do this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video